Gus here with the parental review of Valorant, a first-person shooter where players will play as agents with varying skill sets across multiple locations and game modes. Here's what you need to know before you download this game for the little gamers in your life. Much like the very similar Rogue Company, this game has a few kinds of microtransactions to watch out for. First are the unlockable agents. These can be unlocked through gameplay, but it will take quite a bit of time to do so. Or, premium currency can be purchased to accelerate the unlock process. Next are weapon skins and other cosmetics. These can be purchased with premium currency, or some can be earned through the Battle Pass. Finally is the Battle Pass, offering both a free and premium version. This provides players with cosmetic items as well as small amounts of premium currency. There is no romance in this game, and I found no questionable agent skins that I would worry about. There are a few examples of shit and hell in some of the agent's voiceover lines, but these can be disabled through the in-game audio settings. There is optional voice and text chat. I always recommend caution when younger gamers are allowed to play games with voice chat, as you never know what other players will say. Text chat cannot be disabled, but it does have a profanity filter. The voice chat, however, can be disabled. There are no concerns about drugs or alcohol in this game. The violence in this game is fairly tame compared to games like Call of Duty or Battlefield, with minimal blood and no dismemberment. Additionally, blood and visible corpses can be disabled through the in-game settings. We've talked about some of the negatives, but I think there are some positives worth considering as well. If you've enjoyed this video or you think it will be helpful, please like and subscribe. As a team-based shooter, success in Valorant is almost always dependent upon players' ability to work together to execute a plan for success. Because agents not only have guns, but also special abilities, it becomes even more important that players communicate and coordinate with one another to achieve their goals. The in-game agents are a very balanced mix of males and females, with female agents no less powerful than their male counterparts, and some are even considered to be the most powerful choices in the game. Thanks for watching. If you feel like I've missed anything, or you have information you think other parents should know about, please let me know down in the comments, and we'll see you next time.